please introduce yourself and tell us about MCB 493 FIP. So I'm Kirk Quast and I'm a uh, associate professor in molecular and integrative physiology and I along with Tom Anastasio teach uh, MCB 493 FIP which stands for Frontiers in Physiology. So this is a two credit uh, journal club type course um, and what else can I tell you? And the overall learning goals. Right, so again this is a journal club type course where we read the primary scientific literature, specifically those that are assigned by the visiting scientists that provide the Molecular and Integrative Physiology Seminar. So these are experts in their field that are invited to campus and so we actually meet with them. So the week before they assign a paper, the students read that paper, we then attend their seminar and then following that we have a round table discussion with these people about their research. So it's a really unique class in that the, the students get to um, interact with these visiting scientists on a one-to-one -one basis in a round table format. So it, it is quite unique in its format. So the overall goals then are to master critical reading um, skills um, and analytical skills, to learn new experimental techniques in the, the broad field of physiological research, most of this is biomedical um, type of research, um, uh, to foster good presentation skills, and then once during the semester the students also get to present as a group um, to the um, entire class as well. Who would benefit most from taking this course? So th this is truly an advanced course, and I know other people have said this, but it, it's really targeting um, students that are advanced MCB majors, primarily seniors that have gone through the curriculum and wish to do um, uh, biomedical research. So they're the primarily students that are going to pursue advanced degrees um, in um, research. Um, and so it, it's really custom tailored to them. Why? Because the people that are providing the MIP seminar series are researchers themselves doing primarily biomedical research. When is the course offered? So it's offered both during the fall and the spring semesters and it can be repeated but the second time if you do repeat it, it does not count for advanced MCB credit. I understand the course meets more than once on the same day. Can you walk us through these meetings and describe what happens in each? Right, so on Thursday we have the MIP seminar, that's from 11 to noon. And then um, in order to help students out because they may not be familiar with the type of research that that particular seminar speaker is presenting, um, both Tom Anastasio and myself, the, the co-teacher, we hold a brown bag lunch from approximately noon till 12.30 um, where students can come in and ask questions and then from 12.30 to 1.20 then we have our formal uh, roundtable discussion with the seminar speaker that's visiting for that week. I see that students need your permission to enroll. How do they go about doing this and what are you looking for? Right, so it's a very small course, about 20 students total, and this includes both MCB 493 FIP plus MCB 509, which is the um, physiology graduate core course. Um, and so there's only 20 spots and I have to accommodate the 509 students first. So people that are interested, they should um, email me directly. Um, and tell me a little bit about your background, what uh, classes you've taken, what your curriculum's been, um, where you are at in that curriculum, junior, senior, and then um, probably most importantly, what you plan to do after you complete your degree here. Is, and again, it's sort of geared towards people that are interested in biomedical research simply because they'll be interacting with people that do biomedical research and learning more about that. How do topics covered in your course apply to current research, medical, scientific advances? Well, so these are um, visiting scientists that are um, doing cutting-edge cutting -edge research. And so they're invited to campus. Why? Because somebody on the faculty has an interest in what, the, what it is that they're doing. Um, so it's very much cutting edge and also um, it, the topics vary and that's why it can be repeated more than once because every semester we'll have um, different topics covered. Now 
because it's the physiology seminar, it primarily is either neuro or endocrine in origin, um, some metabolic disease, some developmental, um, and also some channel, ion channel work as well. But the, the topics are quite varied. And again, it's, it's primarily um, uh, research and biomedical research oriented. Given there are no exams, how are students in your course graded? So the students are graded on a number of criteria. The first is after reading the article that was assigned for that particular week, um, each student submits a number of talking questions that can serve as a launching off point in our roundtable discussions with the visiting scientists. Um, so those are critiqued. Then um, at least once during the semester, um, uh, the, each student is allowed to present with um, other students in a group um, their own uh, a paper of their own choosing, so they'll be critiqued on that, and then also their general level of participation during the roundtable uh, discussions. So it's those primary, primarily those three criteria that make up the grade. Finally, what is it that makes your, this course unique? Um, as far as I know, this is the only MCB advanced credit course where students um, are provided the opportunity of, of interacting with re, uh, research scientists that are visiting this campus. So it, it, it's very unique in that not only are we reading the primary literature, so primary scientific research articles, but also interacting with the people that wrote these and, and having direct one-on-one -on -one interactions with these people. So. Um, it, it's a great format. It's really something that I wish that um, I had when I was a graduate student and most students really, really like it. Um, I always get more students that want to be involved in this class and there are seats. So the sooner you can email me about trying to enroll in the class, the, the better. And the more you can tell me about your background, your interests, um, the, the more that will help guide me in, in, in the selection process of who actually gets into this class.